What is going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creighton TV. So in today's quick video, we were gonna find out, I'm gonna show you that how to kind of fix your CPU uses on Streamlabs OBS if you're running a Mac. I know some people have been hitting me up saying that they've been opening up Streamlabs OBS and their CPU uses have been going up higher and higher just without them doing nothing and it's been causing them to lag. So some kind of slight fix that that can work. I'm still doing some other further testings, but a little quick example of what you can do. So let's go over there to Streamlabs and here's how you can kind of fix it but let's go check it out if you're experienced this problem leave a comment down below so we can try to get this all i'll try to help you all as best as i can but other than that let's watch over there to streamlabs ops now I look i just finished up recording and you see me down there at the bottom cpu and this everything went back down i don't know this thing is weird so we're going to test out some things this is just after i stop streamlabs ops on the mac and as you're going to see now, my CPU usage is right here at the bottom, right down there at the bottom. You're going to see it's starting to rise. And for some reason, I don't know if you guys have this problem, like your CPU, without you doing nothing at all, and your CPU just starts to rise and your FPS starts to drop. I don't know what, but me, I know a lot of people have been hitting me up and asking me about what, why does that happen on Mac and everything else. So one feature I could probably say it could be a bug with the software. And right now I'm on the latest software, so I've been trying to update. That didn't work, so a little few things that you can do to fix it. What I will probably say is delete Streamlabs OBS off your Mac and re-download it. Or try to adjust your settings and run lower settings. Because I don't know why I should be raising my CPU for no reason. Like you guys see right there at the bottom, my CPU right now is 12 and FPS is dropping. 31, 30%. Like, why is that? Why does that have to happen? So I'm trying to figure out that. I'm doing some more tests. I'll do a follow-up video. But make sure you leave a comment down below if your Streamlabs OBS or has been doing that on a Mac or iMac. So now I can personally, if you have an Intel Mac, not the M1 Max, but an Intel Mac, uh, you have the Intel processor and everything else, you can run Windows on your Mac if you have the space for you for that. But I'm not going to show you how to do that. There's tons of videos out there on YouTube that shows you how to do that for your you know if you want to learn how to do that i'm not going to show you how to do that i just want to stick really on mac i can do that but i just feel in my opinion that it's not fair for me to just say oh yeah mine's working great and i'm running uh, you know windows boot camp when i'm not actually running mac OS. a lot of you guys are on mac os software so i'm not really going to show you how to do that but if you do run an intel mac and you want to run windows boot camp you can do that we'll go look up videos on that but right now as you guys can see like I'm not doing nothing, not moving, no gameplay, nothing. I'm just showing you that my gameplay is up in the background. You guys see my CPU is rising, and then you guys just seen a few minutes ago that the FPS was dropping down to 30. Sometimes it goes down to like even 25, which is very strange. So I don't know what ha why that happens. That happens all the time when I'm streaming and recording. So I don't, I don't know. I'm going to do a test, but some options that you can do: try to delete Streamlabs OBS. And then reinstall it. Maybe that will fix the little bug software and give you the latest firmware. Or adjust your settings accordingly to what your Mac, you know, if you don't want to push so high of settings, you know, you can adjust it down some. Like me, I changed mine a little bit to see if that will fix it. But yeah, that didn't work either. Like if I go to my um my output, I got my heart I got the hardware encoder right here and force. I even dropped my bit right down. You see it right here, 4850 keyframes. I'm showing you right now so when i do my recording for some odd reason ever since they updated and put the new update you cannot record and stream at the same time using the same hardware encoder on the mac i don't know why i'm still trying to figure that out so stay tuned for a follow-up video on that on how to fix that and why you can't but right now i'm just using the software encoder it says you can use a stream encoder but i'm not really confident on that one so i'm just right now on the software encoder as you can see my bit rate i even dropped that down it, you know 12,010 key intervals to ultra fast high zero latency and everything else um, I even dropped down my video aspect I was trying some stream earlier I tried at 720 uh, 60 FPS and I was getting like 720 10 FPS or 15 FPS then I went to uh, 1920 by 1080 and then I was still getting like 25 FPS so I don't know if it's this version of software or 
it's a bug and a problem but I'm a, well, if you're having this kind of problem leave a comment down below and let me know um, what problems that you're having and I'll try to help you out as best as I can as a while I'm still doing some testing but as you can see right then I just showed you that was my little settings um, the audio is already working so look now look 14 FPS and then I always get this where it says oh you skip frames or let lag frames detected like it's lagging lagging behind and it wasn't doing this before and I don't know that is like I can still show you that I'm on Mac OS Mojave I haven't upgraded my main system yet prior to Mac OS Big Sur because there's still some other things that I personally use that don't work on Big Sur so that's why I didn't go to uh, Big Sur but I'm still on Mac OS Mojave and I'm trying to figure out why the, does this actually happen like, look you can see 33 FPS know how to monitor that, that you can go up here to search on your on your Mac type in activity monitor and then when you bring that up that will show you your CPU like me right now you can see Streamlabs OBS CPU usage percentage is 30 13 and it'll tell you your CPU a load your system so it's like huh why is that causing me so it's it's just up and downs but I will do a follow-up video for you guys for more testings even when I'm not doing nothing like right now I'm not doing that I'm not streaming not recording or nothing and the CPU uses is be going up or it be going down I don't know even today I tried a little test stream went to the stream and uh, before I even hit stream and record CPU was already high and I was down to like 10 FPS so I'll let you guys know on a follow-up video if you're new here you know like this video subscribe if you're new uh, we're on our way to 2,000 subscribers so thank you for all the people that subscribed so far we're at 1849 or 1850 woo that's a woo so for all you guys that did join the join the Creighton family welcome it's your boy Brandon coming to you from Creighton TV here we go Streamlabs OBS we got to get a fix for this so we can run back smooth the way it was and yeah so more videos on the way back to the daily schedule I'm done with summer school so you won't have to worry, worry about uh, videos being late and delayed so you won't have to worry about that but other than that, I'll see you guys on the next upcoming video, Tuesdays and Thursdays, every time I post. That being every said, take care, everybody. God bless everybody, and be safe. Peace.